Hi, I'm Hanani. After recently discovering what true joy feels like, I had to leave the promised land of the west and return to the east. After the supple feel of that western gravel, these eastern paths feel like quicksand. But, we're nothing if not persistent. So, meet my pathway only restricted Iron Man. Episode 4 East? I thought you said WEST! Before we begin, just a quick recap on the rules. Paths good, grass bad. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like I need to be more descriptive. So, uh, all activities must be conducted within the past of this game. This means no quests, no item gathering, and no skilling off the beaten path. Walking is more of a guideline. But previously, I decided to set my sights on my favorite frozen big toe in the north to get our first ever 99 fire making. Although, the path there is not so straight. But, we're back in the east and we are ready to craft. We are here for what the dreams are made of. <laughs> Alright. So. Finally. After... Do not have any wool? Oh, fuck! Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. <laughs> Why do good things... Why do bad things happen to good people? Alright, for those of you who haven't figured out, I've bought the product of what happens and not what gives me the crafting experience. Which means I need to go back to our doin and shear myself for 155 more wool. Crap! <laughs> How do I get by being this fucking stupid? <laughs> I just released the last episode with no mention of that. Oh my god, I bet you, I bet you I'm gonna get a comment now. Someone's gonna be like, hey, you've got the wrong thing. By the way, super fan, but you're a fuckhead. <laughs> what a way to start the fucking episode. Oh. Plan of this episode was do that, but we're gonna go back to our doin. Use one more law rune. I'll tell you what, I actually had a dream where I got a law rune. That's how much I'm invested in this account now. I'm starting to dream about it. Anyway, Shed, Fred, Fred, I'm going into your shed, and we are going to get this shear. Back to our doing to get us 155 balls of wool. I'm going to be honest, I thought it would be a lot longer before I felt these sweet pearly rocks on the bottom of my feet. Back in the west, and we're ready to reprimand some mistakes. Okay, well that leaves us with two teleports. I'm only, I had four, so I think one was left aside for comedic mistakes. <laughs> and the other two, they're purely, 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 purely there for actual planned activity. Hop that style. Woo! Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> no, 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 same team. Ah, oh, please ram, oh, I'm your friend, stop this. I'm here to make your sisters less hot. That came out wrong. I meant in a temperature wise. I'm not gonna try and fuck your ram sisters. Well, this is quite pleasant. And think, you see, I'm focusing on the negative here that I bought the wrong type of wool. But think of all the wool I'll have now. I'll be able to make like 300 amulets if I ever want to. And you know, that's what this account is about. It's about possibilities. <laughs> Making the mistake of having pre made balls of wool instead of wool. That's anyone would make that mistake. <laughs> like, how many people have actually gone into a sheep pen, sheared a sheep, and then turned the wool into balls of wool? Apart from everyone who's done sheep shearer. Fuck. <laughs> I forgot this is like the first quest you do. <laughs> now, I'll tell you, new defense. I am just so high level, it's been, it's been like four years since I've done low level quests, so I think it's fine. It's quite relaxing, really. Sort of like a mini game, I gotta click on the sheep. Woo! Oh, there's another sheep. Woo! I'm really disappointed. I thought one of you were talking to me. I'm gonna be honest. I was I was excited. I thought we were gonna have a good chat. You're gonna be like, hey, remember that schlonged bit? That was dumb. <laughs> and I would have been like, yeah, but <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> ooh, ooh, hello! I would love to come solve a maze. Alright, uh, there you go, 60%, I'll take it. 
Weird spinning face rock? I've never even looked at that before. That's terrifying. I feel like I'm in Game of Thrones. Alright. Uh, 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 I'll come back for you all. Oh shit, that's a lot of feathers! I actually didn't have a good way of getting feathers. I'm very happy with that. Alright. And that is a little over 155 balls of wool. Finally reprimanded for my original mistake. Let's go back to the Badlands. All oh, this sweet, sweet path. It's like walking on clouds. But now I'm stuck in the bad eastern paths. Like nails. Look how gross this is. <laughs> Time to start making level 5 crafting. Is it gonna work this time? Oh my god, finally! Fuck yes! <laughs> we can finally do it! Hey, level 2! Hey, total of 375 as well! That's not really a milestone, but I will take it! Oh, this is so satisfying. Like, finally being able to start a skill. Once you get the first few levels out of the way, it just opens up a whole plethora of content. Boom! Level 3! No, the bots, they're never talkative. Even the hardcores gave me more of a conversation. And they're all pricks. <laughs> Sorry, wait, nope, nope, just realized again who my demographic is. We love and respect you, hardcores. What you're doing is a great thing. <laughs> I don't know, I lost track a while ago. Hey, level four. All right, did I miscalculate this? Hey, one off, level five, woohoo. Last one for good luck. And let's go, go to the next thing. We now have level 5 crafting, which means we can make gold rings. But woohoo. So, but to make gold rings we need mining. And to get better mining material we need money. And to get better mining material we need... Thieving. Boom, smash cut. So, we talk to Terry. Hello? You're <laughs> not Terry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give me a challenge, Terry. Sorry, Terry, I seem to skip. What do I need? 50 bucks. Oh, no! Oh, I thought it was thieving! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! This is a dead. Well, um. There is. Another complication. I need agility. Oh. Alright, well, we'll get. We'll thieve with our subpar double time method without the outfit. Then we'll mine, then we'll construct, then we'll agility, then we'll come back. Okay. God, nothing's ever easy. You'd think an account that's based on following a path would have a defined path, but there is no easy way to do anything. So we're back in Falador after great agility revelations. I'm gonna go do this clue scroll, and I'm gonna thieve up some cash from the guards. So, where do we go for this clue scroll? Catherby. We can go to Catherby. Next time we're on that side of the world, we'll, we'll turn that in. But, let's go find me some guards and get me some tea. Hey, you got a medium task. How much do you get? 30 coins, sweet! So I only need to do a hundred of these. That's really not that bad. Well, if we if I give up pretty soon, we can just settle with a myth pickaxe. But I'd like an adamant. I feel like it'll help us in the future. There's not a hope in hell we're getting a rune anytime soon, so. It's like 3,000 coins. It's really not that expensive. I think off the top of my head it's 3,200. So, yeah, we'll be fine. And here is the last T of this account. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think the British days of this account are over. Now, we're bread. I don't know what a nationality you're associated with bread. I guess Italian, they like dough. But we're no longer British. Also, we are getting really close to the 3,200 GP required for that adamant pickaxe. Which is very exciting. I think for the first time in a long time, I might actually not have to thieve for a while. And... Boom. I'll do this one. Boom. That's it. Time to go to my friend Nimorf to get me some mining, to get me some construction, to get me some agility, to get me some more thieving. 
We are, have now got enough to get us both a adamant pickaxe and a mithril pickaxe. So, we'll go to Numendorf in the little mine and, you know, ask him how he's doing. Give me a myth. Let's double check. I can actually use the myth. Yep, myth and adamant. And then runes like 40,000, so that's a long, long, long way down the track. But, where is he? Where are you, buddy? I think you're up here. Is that you? Is that my friend Numendorf? There he is! There's our pal. Numendorf, sorry. By one, by one. Hi, am I on the air? Yep. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. I knew, I knew 1,200. 1,300? Oh. Shit. Can I... Oh, Alright, we'll be back. We'll be back for that adamant pickaxe. I did my maths wrong. That's fine. That's fine. Next time I'm up at the surface, I'll go... I'll pickpocket, like, two more guards. And I'll go get the adamant pickaxe. Doesn't really matter. It's a while till I can use it. So really, that was a strategic move, not a bad maths move. Hey, there we go. 31 mining. Thank you, Miss Pickaxe, you've served me well, but unfortunately I have to upgrade to your older, stronger brother. <laughs> that wasn't meant to be sexual, but I guess it kind of was. Boom. Oh, there he is. That wonderful pickaxe. Look at that firm grip he's got. Oh, so perfectly weighted. Such a pointy pick. <laughs> All right, um, I'm level 37 mining, I've just been mining away, but welcome to the Maths Minute. So I worked out to get to level 40 construction. Hi, it's Future Hannah here. I decided to voice over this last bit because it all got a bit messy, but the Maths Minute. To unlock agility, the only place I've discovered is the Brim Haven Agility Course, which has agility obstacles of all levels. And this course is connected to a level 40 construction portal. So if I can get my construction to 40, I can move my house to Brimhaven and teleport there. But how do we get our construction to 40? We mine. We mine a lot. And I mean a lot. I worked out I need 8,000 iron ores and approximately 4,000 iron bars to build 400 house portal exits. The side product of this is level 40 smithing, which enables the production of gold jewelry. So we can finally start crafting the games necklaces for Winterfrog. So I ended up mining to 41, thieving enough gold for a rune pick from our mate Numendorf. I know it's the wrong name, but I'm editing this video and just heard me say it like 30 times, so now he's officially Numendorf. And then with our rune pick, we started mining the ores outside the Motherlode mine and banking inside that mine. I also realized for bonus smithing XP, while I banked, I could re rebuild the struts, which grants variable smithing XP based on your level. Eventually, I decided, hey, this is slow and it sucks, so I power mine to 60 to get access to the mining guild, which has three iron ore directly next to a bank, which will aid in my collection of that fucking 8,000 ore, so I will bleep that. But yeah, yeah, that's where I'm at. So thanks for watching the whole thing. These aren't quick to make, so all your wonderful support means a hell of a lot to little old me. So yeah, uh, see you next week. I should ramble a bit more, because I just realized end cards are a thing. Um... Um... Oh...